What's up guys, welcome to the video. My channel name is College Football Frenzy and today I'm going to be breaking down the Ole Miss Rebels 2020 football schedule. I'll say the Ole Miss Rebels had one of the most interesting off seasons in probably all of the SEC. They had a little bit of a controversial season, not a really great one. They went 4-8 overall in 2019, losing a very important Egg Bowl game. Just overall, it was not a great season uh, for the Rebels last year. Matt Luke was fired, and in comes Lane Kiffin. Probably one of the most interesting, co crazy, controversial, whatever you want to call him, coaches in all of college football. He has coaching experience at USC, Tennessee. He was an assistant coach at Alabama, and then he went to FAU, where he had some pretty good success he won a conference championship last year in the conference usa and he finds himself back in the sec as a head coach so it should be an interesting season for the rebels as you can see the schedule is definitely tough the schedule a lot of tough games on it there are some easy out of conference games but for the most part obviously they're in the sec it's going to be a tough schedule their overall 2019 record like i said was four and eight their final fbi rank somehow they fished 46 best best in the nation in the FBI, even though they lost eight games. And their recruiting class, class rank for 2020 is 34. So they have a pretty good amount of talent coming in. Uh, but I'm... I'm really excited to see how Lane Kiffin does with Ole Miss, and I'm even more exciting, excited to see how the Egg Bowl is going to go against Mississippi State, led by new head coach Mike Leach. I think that's going to be probably the most interesting coaching matchup I've seen in a while. Mike Leach versus Lane Kiffin, that's pure entertainment right there on a Thursday. That's going to be really fun to see, uh, but overall, let's get the schedule breakdown started. So one, we have Baylor. Now, Baylor clearly is not going to be the same team as they were last year. I think they're definitely going to be on the decline. It's a neutral site game in Houston, Texas at NRG Stadium. That being said, Baylor is still the better football team, in my opinion. Their defense, in my opinion, is still better. Uh than most of the Big 12, really. And it really is the best defense in the Big 12 right now. So their defense is still very good. And their offense, they still have Charlie Brewer coming back at quarterback. So overall, it's a pretty good team. They are losing Denzel Mims. That's a key loss at wide receiver. But overall, they're a pretty good team. Losing Matt Rule, though, as head coach is going to hurt. But David Aranda uh, coming in from LSU as the defensive coordinator, that, he'll definitely fit in well considering he specializes in defense and Baylor's a pretty good uh, defensive school. So I think Baylor will be pretty good next year. I think Ol Ole Miss can put up a challenge. But it's Lane Kiffin's first game at Ole Miss. It's not going to work right away. Rome wasn't built in a day. Uh, I'll take the Baylor Bears here. To Southeast Missouri. So Southeast Missouri was actually a pretty good FCS school last year. That being said, big difference between an SEC and an FCS school. I'll go with the Rebels here pretty easily. Three Auburn. This was the this is the stretch that Lane Kiffin has been complaining about. He's pretty mad uh, that he got this stretch this, this stretch of games. As you can see, Auburn through Alabama. That is not easy whatsoever. The three best teams really in the SEC West. This is going to be a very tough stretch for Ole Miss and company. Uh, Auburn. You know, Ole Miss actually put up a great fight against Auburn last year. I will say that. They nearly, and I mean nearly, beat Auburn. It was at Jordan Hare, and they came very close. This upcoming season, though, I think Auburn is just as talented, if not more talented. They've got a top 10 recruiting class. And overall, besides losing Derrick Brown, they don't have too many losses. So they're going to be a pretty good football team, in my opinion. It's a home game for the Rebels, but I don't think it's going to going to be a win for them here. I, I'm going to take the Auburn Tigers. Four at LSU. Very tough game. LSU lost a lot of talent, but overall, they still have Coach O. Uh, they're still, they still have a couple good weapons like Jamar Chase, and their defense should be fine. I think they'll be a good team next year, maybe a 10-2 team. I have the LSU Tigers winning this one pretty easily. Five at Alabama. Might be a blowout, but it should be interesting to see Lane Kiffin going against the school that he used to be an assistant coach at. Should be fun. You know, there was some, I think, prop, there was a little bit of controversy when he was there uh, with him and Nick Saban. I don't think they got along very well overall. So this should be an interesting matchup. You know, Ole Miss has been known to play pretty competitive against Alabama in the playoff era, at least. I mean, they won two years in a row, I think, against Alabama. So they could give them some trouble here. But overall, Alabama's the better football team, no doubt. So I have Ole Miss starting 1-4 and four overall. Now, never fear, Ole Miss fans. That was a very tough stretch. Four out of those five games is very tough. Six at Vanderbilt. I think Vanderbilt's honestly the worst team in the SEC next year. I'm going to take the Rebels here. 
7 Florida. All right, so you've got another tough game here. You know, Florida's defense looks very good, and I think their offense is improving. Overall, they should be a pretty good team led by Kyle Trask. Could be a sleeper for a Heisman contender. I'm going to go the Gators here pretty easily. 8 UConn, one of the worst teams in all of college football. Ole Miss gets it done here. 9, you have the bye week. So overall, in the first 8 games, I have you going 3-5. and five. I think those 3 wins are Southeast Missouri, Vanderbilt, and UConn. I think those, those 3 games are pretty easy. They're pretty easy wins. The rest, just really tough wins. I mean, really tough games, sorry. 10 at Texas A&M. This could be a competitive game. I think Ole Miss can actually put up a pretty good fight. Texas A&M definitely has more talent in a top 10 recruiting class. And Kellen Mon, he's a little bit more experienced. He should be decent next year. Uh, you know, Jimbo Fisher is a pretty good head coach, in my opinion, overall. But I think Ole Miss can still put up a good challenge at Texas A&M, even if it's against, even if it's at Kyle Field. I think it'll be a good game. I'll take the Aggies here. But I de definitely think Ole Miss can put up a pretty good fight here. I definitely think... They have a chance to at least win the game. 11 at Arkansas. This is an easy one. Guaranteed win here. I'll take the Rebels. 12, Georgia Southern. Shouldn't be that hard of one. I think Georgia Southern, Southern's like a 6-6, six 7-5 and six, seven and five type, type of team each year in the Sun Belt. Shouldn't be a problem. Rebels here. So overall, going into week 13... I have you coming in either five and six or maybe six and five, something like that. Five and six or six and five. This game is gonna be absolutely huge. I mean, absolutely huge. This is a must-win game against Mississippi State. I think Mississippi State's in the same scenario. They have a pretty tough schedule as well as Ole Miss, and they probably will be coming in with a five and six record, maybe six and five record. So this is a huge egg bowl for these two teams. It's on Thanksgiving. Should be a great matchup. I'm sure all eyes in college football will be watching this game. It's a big one. You know, it's tough to say who has the edge overall. I think Mississippi State might be a little bit better talented. Coaching-wise, both great coaches in my opinion. You know, great personalities. This could go either way in my opinion. I could see either team winning it. I'm going to give it to Ole Miss because they're home. I'm going to give it to Ole Miss because they are home. But this is going to be a great rivalry matchup overall. I think one of the better ones we've seen in quite a while. I love that Leach is with Mississippi State, and I love that Kiffin's with Ole Miss. But I'm going to take the Rebels here in a close one. So overall, I have the Rebels finishing 6-6. Six and six. I think you've got five guaranteed wins overall. Southeast Missouri, you've got Vanderbilt, you've got UConn. Then you've got, obviously, a buy to rest up. And I think Arkansas and Georgia Southern land the season are also guaranteed wins. So that gets you five guaranteed wins. I think you've got some guaranteed losses as well. Florida, LSU, uh, you know, maybe Auburn could be competitive. Uh, but Alabama, those games, I don't really think you have a chance in. The, the big key is, can you split the games against Texas A&M and Mississippi State? If you can get one win out of those two games, I definitely think you're going bowling. If you can't, it's probably not going to be a great season uh, for the Rebels overall. But I have them at 6-6 six and six right now, bowl eligible. And hey... If you go 5-7, and seven, you're probably still one of the best 5-7 and seven teams out there. And they're adding a few more bowl games this year. So they might need a 5-7 and seven team to fill in uh, in a bowl game maybe. So even if you go 5-7, and seven, I'm saying that there's a chance you could still make a bowl game. But yeah, right now I think they're pretty average. It's gonna take t it's gonna take time for them uh, to start competing on the same level that Alabama, LSU, Florida, uh, those teams are at right now. It takes a long time, kind of like Tennessee. Tennessee the last two or three years hasn't been great, but they're slowly working their way up, and I think in a few years they'll be a playoff contender. Uh, so. Yeah, right now, 6-6. Six and six. It's going to take time. Uh, but overall, guys, that's it for now. Thank you for joining in. Please make sure to like and, su like and subscribe. Give me your recommendations. Check out all my other videos. And yeah, guys, that's it for now. Thank you for joining in.